10. Welcome back. Jupiter is so close to Earth right now, most people can see its moon with nothing but binoculars. For sky watchers, tonight is the night. NASA said this happens about once a year. They call it the opposition. It's when Jupiter, Earth, and the Sun are arranged in a straight line with Earth in the middle. When that happens, you can use a telescope or binoculars to spot Jupiter's four largest moons. You might even see some banded clouds that surround the planet. This month, NASA said Jupiter will be at its biggest and brightest and will be visible in the sky all night. However, here, Chris, we're probably expecting, we're seeing some clouds already, I'm, right? I'm just the messenger, <laughs> don't get mad at me. But here's a look at the uh, current radar, the cloud cover that's over west central Texas. It may be a little hard for you to see uh, Jupiter tonight, but tomorrow will be much better with mostly clear skies. But looking at your seven day forecast there, as we head into the next seven days, we can expect to see those hit or miss rain chances. Skies will be clearing to mostly sunny conditions for tomorrow. And those mostly clear skies will be lasting into the Tuesday night into Wednesday. So definitely good conditions to view Jupiter if you want. But stray storms possible for Wednesday. Temps warming up into the low 90s with high temps in the upper 90s for Saturday and Sunday. All right. Thank you, Chris. And thank you for watching, everyone. Have a great night. And we'll see you back here tomorrow.